right? Some of them are going to decide to stay behind. So what do we do, right? And it's like, yeah, we process our savior energy. We allow their higher selves to be right, yeah? And one of the things that I find helps people is, look at that dog. <laughs> it's not a dog. One of the things that I find helps people is when, I, when they say, yeah, but it's my children, it's my children. I say, well, You've had how many lives on this planet and other planets? Wow. Well, maybe let's say the very, very kind of, um, you know, on the low side, and let's say 200, okay? On the low side, 200 lives uh, in a physical body and maybe subtle bodies. So, okay, so if you think about that, then how many children have you had? In all of those lives, how many? Wow, yeah, I have even tap into it. Oh my gosh, I've had thousands of children. I have been father to thousands of children. I've been mother to thousands of children. So then in those lifetimes, they were absolutely precious to you. Most of them anyways. Right? Totally, totally precious. And you, would, and you did, and you sometimes you gave your life up for them because they were so precious. Yes, that is true. So now you don't even think about them, right? You moved on, right? So, and they moved on. And maybe your children now, yeah, maybe you, they've been your children lots of times, and maybe they've been your parents lots of times, and your brothers and sisters lots of times, and your best friend lots of times, and your husband and your wife lots of times, you know? It doesn't end. In this expanded state of awareness, and you probably felt it yourself. So you probably met people and you knew, both of you knew that you've met each other before, right? And sometimes these are positive meetings like, oh my God, I know we were, we were very close or friends or something. We have to make friends in this lifetime because I know you from before and it was positive, right? And sometimes you meet somebody and you hate them and you want to kill them and you don't know why, <laughs> right? And all these type of things. But so you're already sensing that expanded awareness, that ex expanded connection and expanded shared memories type of stuff. And I can assure you that the people who stay behind are not going to stay behind forever. They just need to finish their games. They have to have like some sort of conclusion. Yeah. Um, closure of their games uh, and some of them are stuck in bodies that are, are extremely disabled so they can't make a movie if they wanted to for example and I'm, I'm not talking about disabilities that for example somebody in a wheelchair I'm talking about a junkie a drug addict that is so addicted that they don't have teeth left right they're so addicted they can't manage to get themselves out of it I'm talking about people who have had or manifested or whatever, so many vaccinations that they're totally, totally um, injured, right? In a physical sense too. They cannot, their circuitry doesn't work right. So, um, you know, and you might think, oh my God, you know, I was vaccinated to hell. I was me. I received so many vaccines. You have no idea. I was vaccinated to hell and back, right? I was, my physical voice messed up big time, but I'm still able to hold some, onto some of that expanded awareness, right? So it's not just about that, but it's also the choice, the, the, the choice of experience. And um, sometimes that's all it's gonna take. It's gonna take living out their lives and coming back and they'll be back in our, our paradigm. And you'll remember them and they'll remember you, right? If that's what you both choose to do. With regards to vaccinations, um, I was looking at, um, I mean, they're really driving that home right now and it's at another choice point. Um, if you fall for fear, if you fall for that, you drink the Kool-Aid and that's an American saying, um, then it, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Um, flu vaccinations, fear-based decisions. 
a long time ago, I practiced. Uh, has it stopped? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, Ilya says he can hear me. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, good. Thank you. So, um, what was I saying about the vaccinations and choices? Um, yeah, so a long time ago I used to uh, practice Buddhism in a school of Buddhism that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, it went south. <laughs> it went not very good. Um, so I had to leave it. But they had really good tools. And this, the Buddhist leader that I was friends with, she was really an awesome woman. And once, one time she said, listen, um, before you make a life-changing decision, we were talking about me leaving my husband at the time, um, don't make a decision when you're in anger, in a state of anger. Don't make decisions in a low frequency like anger because any decision you take in anger is going to backfire. It's going to be a bad decision. Make decisions when you, you know, you process your anger, you step out of anger and then make the decision. And that, that'll be the right decision. But of course, we have to expand on that and also look at fear, right? And social programming and all these other things. Save your energies. I, I stepped out of anger, so I didn't divorce him right away. I should have. Right, but I stepped into savior mode. You know, it's like, um, what's it gonna do if I leave him? You know, he's gonna collapse and die, or whatever. So, you know, and then my children will have no daddy. Oh my god, you know, they don't have a daddy. You know, it's gonna happen. If they don't have a daddy. It's gonna be awful. Of course, it was the opposite. They should have. They would have been way better off without that person in their lives. And as soon as they had a chance, they'll stop having communication with him so it's it's one of those situations where you have to watch for the why really watch for the why and we'll go back now to that conversation i was having with you before about conscious manifestation after you figure out the group dynamic of the manifestation you go into yourself and find the why so you want to be healthy why why do you want to be healthy? Because then I'll be free and I can do anything I want. Usually that's the answer. You want to be wealthy. Why? Because I want to be free and do anything I want. Right? You want to have a loving, beautiful relationship. Why? Because in that relationship, I'll be free to be myself and do anything I want. Right? Usually that's the answers. There's other ones, like there's also um, satisfaction. There's, there's, I feel fulfilled. Um, I'll be able to do stuff. That's another way of saying I'll do what I want. Um, I'll, I'll be powerful. Um, uh, what's the other one? Successful, right? <clears throat> there's lots of whys. And these are good whys, right? But guess what? Your health, your relationship, and your money is not what you want to manifest. It's the why. You want to manifest your freedom. You want to manifest your satisfaction. You want to manifest doing what you want. And how do you do that? You make conscious decisions out of the programs and out of the low frequency stuff that's as simple as that you because you have the capacity to look at something test it for resonance do the fear processing exercise and all other frequencies lower frequency exercises firewalls exercise all the tools that i put out for you are there for your freedom so you can make conscious decisions that is freedom if you feel into falling into a decision, um, then you can stop and look at it. Look at that decision and say, okay, if I do that or I take that person or I buy that thing or I take that job or whatever, or move whatever, or I stay here at home today, is that fulfilling my why, my real why? 
am I making this decision out of freedom because I really, truly want to do this? Or am I taking this decision because I'm afraid? I'm afraid of rejection. Am I afraid of poverty? Am I afraid of getting hurt? Am I afraid of being alone? I'm afraid. What is it? And then if you, if you find the fear, then you process that fear and look at it again. Right? You might take the same decision and you might not. I know for a fact or a fact that Luna was going to die and was going to exit our lives somehow sooner rather than later. I know this for a fact, but how it came about was in a very negative, traumatic way for everybody. Right? Now, I know for a fact that, for example, the house we were trying to um, manifest in the village with uh, Larry's cousin, I know for a fact that we probably wouldn't have, probably, <laughs> not a fact, um, I have a very strong feeling that the same situation would have happened no matter what we did. We did do three things that were dissonant, in my opinion. And all that carried was to bring a war forward and make it extremely unpleasant for us to release that house. Very, very, very unpleasant. And it could have been different. It could have been released in a very positive way. So when, how do I know these things? You know, it's like people say everything happens for a reason. Yeah, but sometimes the reason is really bad. Sometimes the reason is an exploitative energy or person or entity wanting to, you know, suck you dry, exploit you, put you in suffering so they can take all your energy. You know, that might be the why. So yeah, everything happens for a reason. It's true, but not necessarily for a good reason not good for you or for the planet, okay? War happens for a reason. Yeah, it makes a lot of money to a lot of people. Yeah, but it's not a good reason. <laughs> so um, have the, the reason, the why of why you do things be the thing that you do, right? And base the base of what moves you forward and the decisions that you take you are free now you are more free than any, most people on the planet right you are able to make conscious decisions and you're able to process your fears your programs and then make conscious decisions you can decide to keep a, a firewall you can decide to keep a fear if it's still serving you that's freedom yeah so I'm not saying don't become a billionaire. I'd like you to become a billionaire, full of, you know, ability to do and liking any type of firewalls or negative programs around it. Because I know that if you're a billionaire, if everybody on this call was a billionaire, my gosh, we would see massive, massive, massive changes on the planet. We would see projects that are amazing, just life-changing projects for all of us, for the entire human species. So absolutely, but my why of why I want you to become billionaires is that, you know, but it doesn't involve your, you know, kids or your grandma <laughs> necessarily, right? Um, and um, know that when you look deeply into why you want something, if you're gonna spend a lot of time dedicated to get, having that happen, it has to be squeaky clean and then it'll be filled with ease and supported. Yeah. And when things that you know is going to bring you a lot of happiness um, come forth and, um, and then blocks come about, but you don't lose that joy in that expression, in expressing that manifestation, then you know you're in the right path. So, for example, um, I manifested a Mercedes, a beautiful, amazing Mercedes Benz some years back. And people said, why on earth would you do that? You know, it's like, you know, why, why did you, why didn't you just buy a little Fiat or something, you know? And it's like, well, when I sat in the Fiat, it felt plasticky, the smells made me, gave me a headache, and it just felt empty, you know? 
When I sat on this Mercedes, I could feel the love of the craftsmen and women that made it. And it was luxurious, and I loved the luxurious feeling of it. I loved it. It just felt so good to be in that luxury, to feel the leather, to feel the wood and the polished items and, you know, the shiny, sparkly. I loved it. I loved it. And something really funny happened because the I had to get it through a loan, right? And I didn't have good credit. So the loan was like, I don't know, 14% interest or something ridiculous. 11% or something. I don't know. It was really, really bad. And I decided to do, it was really bugging me. Okay. It was really bugging me. I decided to do a YouTube video of releasing negative stuff, stuff that is negative, right? So I had a box. It's a box, right? This exercise, you put all the negative stuff in this box and you sit with it, you observe it, you're allowed to exist. Basically, you're allowed to exist and allow it to be there and all that stuff. I was doing the video and I pulled out the loan pay payments, right? I said, oh my gosh, you know, this is my loan. And I'm like, okay. So I did the exercise and then suddenly during that video, it went, it released. And it was like, I didn't care. It was like, wow, that, I don't, I don't care that I have to pay all that interest. And I know somehow, I know this is resolved. I don't know why or how or whatever. But I know it's resolved. And then later on that day, I get a call from the um, the dealership and the lady who deals with all the loans. And she said, um, I'm phoning because, well, she said, it's something very strange. I says, what is it? Well, she said, I've never seen this happen before. And um, of course, you know, I have to call you. Um, anyways, I got a call from the loans company. They want to offer you 1.1% instead of 14 or 11 or whatever it was. And um, she said, yeah, this has never happened to me. I've worked in this for decades. This has never happened before. I don't know what's going on. But of course, I would highly suggest you take it. And I'm like, um, yes. And she said, the only thing you have to do is pay them an extra $2,000 or something, or $1,000. As it happened, I had received that amount a few days earlier. So I had it. So I said, yeah, absolutely, I'm going to do that. So I, I went over, paid that extra money, and uh, uh, my interest went down from 11 or 14% to 1.1%, which was unheard of. Nobody gets a loan of 1.1%. Right, not even I mean, especially not then, right? And even now, it's like when I look at buying things and then the interest rates that they give you, it's like nobody does 1.1 percent. So it's like, hmm, this is how deeply this, how powerful these exercises are. They are powerful, they are, they do work, and it really, really, um gives you that freedom. I will have the freedom to own my car, right? And um, I, I was even freed of the bitterness of having to pay such a high interest rate. <laughs> because, you know, I'm awesome. <laughs> but you're awesome too, and you totally can do anything you want. Um, and um, so, yeah, have a look at the why. What is it, you know, what is it that you would do? Um, and why, the why is more important. Um, if you want to manifest something really big in your life, why? Have a look at the why, yeah?